All right, in this video we're going to look at the first three from the review. They're all about whether or not something is a function. So number one, we're looking at this graph. And remember with a graph, we want to see if it passes the vertical line test. In other words, will a vertical line hit the graph more than once? I can draw as many vertical lines in this graph as I want. They'll never hit more than once. So it is a function. Number two, it's probably easier to recall the actual definition of a function, and that is that each input has to have a unique output. In other words, an input can only have one and only one output. So if we look at our input of one, it only has an output of two. There's no other ones in here. Three only has an output of negative one. Four only has an output of two. Five only has an output of three. So they all had a unique output. Now if we were to add another on here and we put let's say 4, 4. Now 4 has two different outputs, but that wasn't part of our original problem. So number 2 is also a function. Is R of T a function? Again, we want to make sure each input has a unique output. So if we look, notice here 0 has an output of 3, and 0 also has an output of 4. So because of that right there, it breaks down, and we get that 3 is not a function.